This is Jamie from Stillmeyer Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite mechanism in Phantom Inc. This is the word game of unfinished business. This is a team game. I played it with a total of four players just yesterday. Had a, had a really good time with it. Very short game. I think it was one that you can play multiple times in a, in a rapid succession. Um, and let me explain it quick, briefly how it works. So... First, all players on one side of the table, basically, are going to look at one of these cards and random, randomly select one of these words, and they share this word. So, for example, let's say we both say the word is fireplace. We know this secretly. Um, we are, and we are not on the same team. We each have a partner on the other side of the table. That partner has a bunch of cards that look like this, that have kind of a topic and a question on them. And that person, without knowing what this word is, because we're trying to get them to guess this word, is going to give each of us in secret one of these questions. So my partner would give me this card, and this one says a location, where would you find it? And so I'm gonna to try to give that person a clue um, to help them find Fireplace. The key interesting thing in this game is, so so far, so so good, right? I, I know a word, that person's trying to get me to guess a word, and they're asking me a question to help them guess the word. The question is secret, though. It's only known in our team. The twist is here that uh, when I answer that question, I am answering it in public. I'm answering it so that everyone can see what my answer is. And the big twist to doing that, so I'm writing it down on this pad, and so the other team gets to see my answer. They just don't know the question. So that's kind of twist number one. The second twist is that it's public. The third twist is how this is implemented. And that is, as I write down that answer, so for example, we're doing fireplace. The question asked was location. Where would you find it? So my partner's asking me, where would I find this thing that they have no idea what the word is? They're asking me, where can I find it? Say I choose to write down the words uh, living room. Living room is where one place where you might find a fireplace. I do so here letter by letter. And so I write down the word, the letter L. And then I kind of pause because my partner at any given time, my teammate, can decide to say stop and make me stop writing down. So they've asked me a question. They've asked, where is it located? They know that I'm going to answer with a location. And so they have a general idea of what I might be talking about. Um, so let's say I write down then the, the I and then a V. At that point, L-I-V, maybe they have guessed that I'm writing down the word living room. Maybe not. But either way, uh, maybe they think I'm writing down Liverpool. It could be something else. In fact, what they're trying to do is when they have a pretty good idea of what my answer is, they're going to tell me to stop because all this time, the other team can see what I'm writing down. They don't know the question, but they know that this answer that I'm writing down here has something to do with the word that, we're, that both of those people are trying to guess. This, I think, is really, really clever. The idea of giving a clue to a teammate or a partner um, uh, in public so that everyone can see what that clue is, but that other people don't know what the question is and that my teammate can tell me to stop at any given time because they don't want that information. They don't want the other team to have too much information so that they have the potential of guessing the word before they get the chance to guess it. I just think this is really clever. The idea that you're giving a clue in public and uh, and and that, that, that uh, the clue itself can be stopped at any given time based on what they know. I think they have to say like silencio when they want you to stop, which is a fun little twist to the game. Yeah, I just think that's a really neat twist to a deduction wordplay game um, to stop at any time. Uh, I think I, it's been a while since I played it, but uh, someone else at the table reminded me that it, it, it's a little bit like Decrypto, but I don't remember exactly how Decrypto works. I remember that being a lot more complicated than this. I like the simplicity of Phantom Eek, even though it took me a little while to figure out exactly what we were doing in this game. Hopefully I've described it to you well enough here today. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you played Phantom Inc. or a game like this where you're giving partial clues, especially one where maybe your teammate or other people at the table can get you to stop at any time if they think they know what you're actually trying to say so that you don't give that information to all of the players, I think that's a clever little twist here in Phantom Inc. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks.